hell, now I can hear myself. Okay. Hello. <laughs> um, so this is a kind of a quicker way to do it. As you guys may or may not know, I typically can't bake my way out of a wet paper bag. So in, in real life, if I wasn't doing this demo, what I would do is I would call Carla and I'd say, make me some pie crust. Or uh, Lizzie, make me some pie crust. Or uh, to be honest, sometimes I would even just buy a pie crust. Which is okay too. Which is okay too. Don't feel guilty about that. It's yes. not like it's semi-homemade. We made everything else. We're just using the pie crust. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love Sandy. It's just a joke. All right. So, we put our. Only one person thought it was funny, but it's nonetheless. Nonetheless, it's a joke. Michael makes a joke, he laughs, and one other person is just chuckling. <laughs> so, I'm going to put the flour in the mixer. I'm going to put some kosher salt in the mixture and I put a little bit of sugar in this too. Nice. Because yeah. I like it because the the um I like sweet, salty, fatty. Those are flavors that I really like together. Woo! Sweet salty sweet, fatty. Salty, fatty. That, that's kind of a long middle name. Sweet salty fatty. You might want to just pick S -S one. S S F. I'm oh, sorry I had to slow down to do that one. And then we have our chilled cut butter. I'm on you. And we have the water iced. And the reason for that, I hope this little guy's big enough. The reason for that is that with, with, with these machines, the, um, there's a, it creates heat very quickly. So you want to make sure that your ice, your water is very, very cold. All right? So we pulse, 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 and it's going to start to crumble together. Now, you know, for those of you that have made pie crust by hand, you know, you get, you, you get the butter and the flour mixed. And then I'm just going to add my super cold water. Nice. Also, you guys, when your, your butter is cold, the butter creates steam when it actually is in the pie crust, and that's what creates those layers. So your butter has to stay cold, and that's also why you have to put it back in the fridge so it it will um, solidify again, so then when it steams, you get all these wonderful, beautiful layers. Okay, so you see this, look. See how it comes uh, together in a nice dough? That's gorgeous. And you can add a little bit more flour if it's a little bit too tacky too. But same thing, it's just a different way to get to where you are. It's, as I call it, as someone who's not a baker, this is dummy dough. <laughs> so I make dummy dough. So you, you could do it with butter, you could do it with lard, you could do it with any of those things, just of course. I can't believe it's not butter or margarine. Don't cook with margarine. It's one molecule away from plastic, people. <laughs> Imagine if you had that other molecule somewhere floating around your body. Here's, I'm going to tell you a quick margarine story. My mother, who's arguably the greatest cook I know, never likes that one. My mom's one of the greatest cooks I know. And for a year, she started to cook with margarine. It was like she went shit balls crazy. <laughs> so I said, Mom, you can't cook with this stuff. It makes, it's making everything taste bad. And I went to culinary school and I came back and I said, I want to show you something. So we took a stick of butter and a stick of margarine and put it in the garage. It's a summer in, in Cleveland. It's humid. It's nasty. Yeah. So a week later, I went back to her house. We went in, we went to see what was going on. The butter was kind of melted, had some mold on it, some flies, ants, things that hung out with the butter, because it was delicious. The margarine was still in a perfect square stick. Not even a bug landed on it. I said to my mom, the flies know not to eat this stuff. And we have three dogs, you know what they fly around the yard and they'll eat. So it is, that's the kind of stuff you got to get out of your diet. If you're going to make adjustments to your diet, get that kind of stuff out. And then a happy place will come. All right, Carla, hit it. All right, so I have my cross.